Hi, and welcome to this video of Dynamics 365 Talk, where we'll be talking about configuring field service to allow remote workers to reject a booking that's been assigned to them. But before I do that, I just wanted to introduce myself real quick. My name is Dion Taylor. You can follow my blog on d365goddess.com or follow me at Twitter at also d365goddess. So today's scenario is when a remote worker is unable to perform work, right? So we actually have a booking that is assigned to a remote worker, but they can't perform the work because maybe they're sick or the car is broken down or something like that. Now, of course, they could call in to the dispatcher and let them know, but this is actually a quicker way to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a field to the bookable resource booking that is a two option field accept work order where they can say yes or no uh, we're going to add a booking status of reschedule with the color yellow and then we're going to add logic and field service the mobile application that will automatically set the booking status to reschedule and that will then show up in that yellow color on the schedule board and then lastly, obviously, when the dispatcher reschedules this booking, we want to make sure that it's no longer set as rescheduled and no longer has that yellow color. So let's dive right in. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to navigate here to resources because that's where my booking statuses live. And you can just go ahead and click on new, obviously, to create that booking status record. I've already created it. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. I actually called it reschedule and you can see when you actually create the new booking, you can set the status. So you want to make sure that you set that to commit it. Then you can obviously pick a color as well, um, which in my case was that yellow color, right? And then if you navigate to field service, you want to make sure that it's actually linked to the field service status of scheduled. So that's the first thing that we want to do. Now the second step is to add that field to, let me just go to advanced settings here real quick, to the entity. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go to solutions. I've already created a solution for that. So let me pull that up. And it's always good to put your configurations into solutions, right? So that you can move them from your development instance to your production instance or whatever you might have in between there. Oh, let me just redo that. So let's go ahead and create that field and I'm going to call it accept work order. This is going to be, let me just make that a little bit bigger here. That is going to be a two options, yes and no. And this is important. Make sure you set your default value to yes. Then we can just go ahead and save and close that. And there is our newly created field. Now the next step is for us to, obviously you want to make sure you publish your customization. So let's do that. Okay. And then we want to add this to the field service mobile application. So I'm going to navigate to settings and then Woodford and then the mobile CRM Woodford HTML5. And let's go ahead and drill into our project. And now we can search for bookable resource booking. Oh, and here it is. So at this point, I just clicked on the name bookable resource booking. And what I can do from here is we need to make sure this field is actually accessible for us in the application. So we're just going to go ahead and check that. And then we want to make sure that we save that. So once we save that, we want to actually add the field to the form. So we're going to click on this little icon next to bookable resource booking here. And let's just go ahead and do that. And here we see all of the views, forms, and charts. Now I just want to take a look at the forms. So I'm going to uncheck the views and the charts, and then I'm going to go ahead and open the form. 
then I can go ahead and basically click anywhere on this form I don't even have to click on it but I can say I want this field to be added so click add field accept work order and then we can just go ahead and drag that up top and you can save your changes and now we're gonna put some logic in we want to make sure that when that accept work order button is actually set to no then we want the system to automatically set our booking status to reschedule and then we also want to make sure that they cannot change that booking status so you can put this logic on the unload and on the unchanged event I'm only gonna demo how to put it on unchanged and then you can go through the same steps to put it on the unload event as well so go ahead and click on unchanged and this is very similar to CRM's business roles. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the if button over here. And you can even put in a description of what you're doing here. Set booking status to reschedule if accept work order equals no. So here is my condition. If the entity the field that is called new accept work order equals no then I want to put in my step what do I want the system to do well first of all I want on the entity to set the booking status I want to assign the value of reschedule and then the next step is I actually want to go ahead and lock that field. So on the form, the booking status field, is that enabled for them to change it? No. Right? So this is very easy. Now, again, we also want to have some logic when that accept work order field equals yes, because then we do not want to lock the booking status. So I'm going to say else, right? If it's not no, I'm going to add a step on the form. We want the booking status is enabled. And yes, we want that form to be enabled for people to change that. So that's basically all you have to do on here. And again, you can repeat these steps for the onload event as well. So go ahead and click save and close. That brings you back to your form. Again, you can put the same logic on, on load. And then again, we're going to click save and close. And then obviously don't forget to publish your changes. Now, the last thing that we want to do is we want to configure a workflow that actually sets that status back to schedule once the booking actually gets assigned to somebody else. So let's go ahead and go to workflows. We're going to go to settings, processes, and I'm going to create a new workflow. Obviously you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it field servers, set the bookable resource booking status, to scheduled on reschedule and this is going to be a workflow and I'm actually going to make this a real-time workflow on the bookable resource booking entity so let's just go ahead and click OK and let's configure this I want this to be organization wide and I want this to happen on a field change and that is the resource field change once this booking gets reassigned to somebody else I want that to change so let's go ahead and set up my logic the first thing I want to do is I want to update the record and I want to set my accept work order field to yes Let's just find accept work order. I'm going to set that to yes. And we're going to save and close that. Let's put a description in here as well. 
and then the next thing I want to do, I want to check the condition. If that status sh still shows as reschedule, I want to set that back. So let's go ahead and check that. If the bookable resource booking accept work order equals, and let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. If that still equals yes. And the book, the bookable resource booking, booking status still equals. Here we go. Reschedule. If that is the case, we want to set that booking status back to schedule. So let's select a row underneath that check value and then select update record. Again, it's always a good idea to put a description in here of what you're going to do in this step. And here is the booking status field that we want to set back to scheduled. Here we go. Save and close. And I always like to end this with a stop workflow step as well. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and save that and then we can activate the workflow. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And now we're ready to test our functionality. So let's go ahead and open the field service mobile application and first obviously pull down the changes that we did earlier. So let's just go ahead and do that. Here is my update, application update ready. I'm gonna synchronize that. And here it is syncing everything over and my application was updated. So let's go back and assign a work order to ourselves first. And here we are and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that onto the schedule board and there is my work order. Now let's go back to the mobile application. Synchronize your data if needed, then go to bookings. And here is our work order. Let's open up the form and set this to accept work order to no. You see currently the booking status, I can change it. It's set to schedule. Once I set that to no, I cannot update that and it is automatically set to reschedule. Go ahead and save that, synchronize back our changes, and then let's take a look at the schedule board. And we see now here that that is now, that booking is now changed to the yellow color that belongs to that reschedule status. So from here, I can go ahead and just drag and drop that somewhere else, or I can just go ahead and say rebook. And let's assign that to Brady. Exit the search. And we see now that that color is back to blue, exactly like we want. So it looks like this is all working perfectly. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Again, feel free to check out my blog. I'm posting new articles on a weekly basis or just follow me on Twitter. Thanks so much, guys, and have a great week.